what is a jupiter number a jupiter number is a number which is divisible by some of its first and last digit like 36 it has only two digits so first and last is 3 and 6 only whose sum is 9 and 36 is divisible by 9 similarly 126 whose first and last digits are 1 and 6 whose sum is 7 and 126 is divisible by 7 hello and welcome to knowledge circle everyone in today's video we will learn how to make a program where to take input from user and to check whether the number given by the user is Jupyter number or not. So let's make the program. Let's create a class here. And after the creation of class, we'll be creating the, we'll be double clicking on the code window and we'll write the code. Now we will start writing the code. The very first line import java.util.scanner. Then after we'll create the class. After the creation of class, we'll begin the scope of the class and then the main function public static void main and the main function scope begins from here then after we'll create the object of scanner class scanner ob new scanner system dot in after the creation of object of scanner class we'll declare some variables as per our requirement we have to take one number as input from user so we'll take int n okay then after what we need we need another variable num to store the value temporarily and then we will have the reverse of the number uh, we'll see why we have stored reverse why we have taken a variable to store the value of reverse and sum of the sum I, we have taken for the first and last why I have taken here reverse let us understand first that one because if we want to extract the first digit last digit extraction is quite easy by modeling by 10 okay and for first digit we will reverse the number okay now we have written the statement to take input from user after that we have initialized the variable num means we have kept the copy of the original number now what we are going to do we are going to store the last digit i have declared another variable ld for last digit and that is modulus 10 now what we are going to do is we want to have first digit to extract the first digit what we can do uh, we can use this method also like reversing the number so we'll here we'll reverse the number uh, like model uh, model rising by 10 and then after reversing it uh, reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus d and then number will be divided by 10 in this way what happens when the loop gets over we will get the reverse of the number now very simple is that the reverse of the number will have the last digit similar to same as the first digit of the number so that's why we have done it like int fd equal to reverse modulus 10 okay so now we have got what the last digit and the first digit and now we will find the sum of it okay uh, I have already declared a variable sum as 0 then there is no use of that what I did it like I have written here if n modulus 10 and the sum of fd and ld is, is equal to 0 it means if it is divisible by uh, the sum of the first and last then the masses should be displayed here it is a Jupyter number okay I'll just copy it and I'll paste it and then I'll write here else and I'll modify the code. It is not a Jupyter number. If it is false, if it does not satisfy the condition, then the message should be it, it's not a Jupyter number. Now we'll close the main and class. We'll click on compile button. No syntax error. We'll go for void main. We'll enter a number 126. It's a Jupyter number. We'll re-execute the program and we'll give another value like 38. It's not a Jupyter number. 